Hi guys, my name is Shayla Andrews and I am an interior designer and owner of Spaces and Bloom Designs. And today I wanted to show you this big huge chalkboard and how we're going to make it beautiful. And then we're going to put it in a spot inside my home and I'm going to show you how you can make a beautiful spot in your home too. So today we are outside. So my, my team has decided that it'd be fun to be outside. So we're going to try this outside. And so we've got some wind going on and different things, but um, I'm going to show you that even with all these factors, it's still pretty easy to do. So today we are going to be doing a larger transfer. So I've already pre-done this is a really big board, so I'm, I've used a couple different things. But, um, so I've already pre-done them. As you can tell, they're completely dry, which is awesome. So today we're gonna do a big transfer, and this says, make today beautiful. And this is gonna be beautiful when we're done. All right, so when you get your transfer, you have a clear backing. You want to make sure that you do mark the back. And I always write back and then, like on this one, I'm, I marked Make Today Beautiful. You don't want to do like a big X because it's clear and an X will look the same either way. So you want to make sure that you, you mark it with something that's going to make sense. So because I'm using a big transfer, when I use these larger transfers, I like to have two people. So I'll have my daughter or my son. But today I'm going to have my assistant Lauren come in and help me. And she is just gonna help me so that I can, one, not have this stick on itself, because you do not wanna do that, and two, to help me get it centered. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna put it down, and then I'm gonna use my squeegee to make sure that I get all of the air bubbles out of it. Now, I'm going to be using several colors on this one. So, in the last ones that I've showed you guys, I've just used one color. But this one has so many really neat designs that I want to be able to really highlight that. And it'll look so much better when it's on your wall when you've got all these different colors. Now, because I'm outside and the wind will affect how quickly the paste dries, you wanna make sure when you use, when you do these large transfers that you are really working quickly. So my assistant Lauren is gonna come back in and she's gonna help me by using these colors. Now Lauren hasn't ever done this before, so it's gonna be good to show you guys how easy it is to do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. And like I've, t I've told Lauren, we can just do this however. There's not a right or a wrong way to do this. So we're just gonna, both of us are just gonna go and we're gonna go fast and then we're gonna peel it off and it's gonna be amazing. So, here we go. Okay, so now we're all done, and we're going to take it off and see how it turned out. And it's not turning out very good because it's too dry. <laughs> okay, so lessons learned outside. Wind makes the chalk paste dry super, super fast. So it kind of peeled off because it was dry, so it is not anything that we could have done because of the wind. So we're gonna take this inside, we're gonna redo it, and through the magic of television, it will be all ready to go and we'll show you.
Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna show you the things that we did. So this is part two of our segment. We are going to show you how to take the fun things that we just did and put them all into your space. So how many of you have a blank wall in your house that you're like, what do I do with this wall? I'm gonna show you what to do. Okay, so, so we've got the beautiful chalkboard and look how great this turned out. It's got all these colors, great spring look. So this is gonna be perfect. We've got a gather sign and um, I'm gonna show you some things that are not just, that you could get just anywhere because I like to find unique things and that will really personalize your space. If you have things in your own house that you wanna pull, that's fantastic. So I've got this gather sign, so that's really anchoring this long wall. This is a 10 foot wall. So we wanna make sure that you have things that are going to really anchor from top to bottom. So I'm gonna start with this humongous jug. So I got this at one of, one of these antique stores. So it's just gonna bring some height to the table. Then I've got, so in the video that we just did, I showed you some beads. These are some different beads that I've got from, from a person that I've met, a good friend that I've met through Instagram. So Instagram, there's people on there that are doing amazing things and she created these beads and I think they're just adorable. I love that they have a tassel, a tag, everything. So that is gonna add just some dimension and some texture. Then I'm gonna add these cattails. So I'm adding height. So I've got on this side, I'm adding this height, and then I've got the lamp on the other side. So I'm trying to make sure that those levels to your eye will kind of meet. They don't need to be exact, because you want to make sure that you have layers. Okay, so this is going to go in the center of our table. Next, I'm going to go to the other side, and this is just a little tray. So it's got metal on the bottom, wood on the top, so I'm bringing in different different types of, of woods, which brings in different texture. These are the beads that I got at the antique mall. I love these, these are so chunky and fun. And I'm going to add these, these old books. So we're gonna add the books. And you can just kind of lay these however you want. I just kind of do that. Then I want to make sure that I'm bringing in some green. So I've got a little plant and I don't want to do a real plant because then I have to worry about watering it and all that kind of thing. So I just like to get just a fake little green plant. I love birds. I pretty much put them everywhere in my house. My kids think I have an obsession. I just think they're adorable. So I don't like real birds, just fake birds. So we're going to add that. So now we've got some different layers and dimension. So I've got the top, and I feel like the top is pretty good. I don't want to be too much because then it looks cluttered. I just want it to be enough to go, oh, that's really pretty. So this table has a bottom shelf, so I want to make sure that I, I don't forget about that part and really add the layers into that too. So this, if you'll remember, is the pillow that I got at the antique mall that I was so excited about for $24. It's amazing. It, I love this pillow because it really has so much texture to it. So I'm just gonna put that back here and it's just gonna be kind of part of the backdrop. This next thing is just an old window that I've got at just a, one of the antique stores in town. And I did add some chalk couture onto it just, just to add a little bit more dimension and um, just because it's cute. So um, I'm gonna put that on the opposite side. So those are just as the top needed to kind of have that height by each other, so does the bottom. So those really will anchor both sides because I've got the, both squares. Then I'm going to add, so again, from the other video, I'm showing you how we use these things. So this is one of the dough bowls. Um, I actually had this before, but so I've just added some magnolia leaves and just a bunch of different balls. So you're adding all this other texture by adding the leaves and by adding, these all are different kinds. So I'm just gonna put that down here. And then, just to finish it off, so this is just a little heart made out of wood that a friend of mine in Arizona, she makes these, she hand makes these. I love using things that other people make.
So I'm just gonna add that in right here. It's just gonna lean up against there. And that's it. So we've taken a blank wall, we've added a bunch of different texture, we've added color, we've added just life to this corner. So when you come in, it catches your eye and it's just the perfect spot. helped you. I hope you got some good ideas today and um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.